First up, here is the white line. Doesn't seem to be doing anything crazy. Cheers. Nope. <laughs> I'm not drinking. I'm testing. Welcome back to Rewind with B. Schwitty because I'm the realest person you're ever going to meet. Today we are doing... Well, let's be honest, viewers. Over the years, you've come to me for information about wine product reviews and wine reviews themselves. Fun fact, my review on alcohol-free wine, free, has over 6.5 thousand views on YouTube already. And we've had rave reviews about my reviews. Just take a look at this one. Eric Brewmaster raved about my Black Box Cav Sauv review, saying, This may be the worst wine review ever. Then you chug out of a box and confirm my suspicion. Ilya Kuryakin, apologies if I get that wrong, asks, is this guy drunk or what? During my Costco Kirkland brand champagne review. And special shout out goes to Juanita Mendoza, who really appreciated my review of the Darth Vader wine opener because she, quote, didn't know how to use hers. So I apologize to you viewers, to you viewers out there, for not bringing you important quality reviews for over two years at this point. I, I don't know what to, I can say. So today we will rectify that wrong by reviewing this wine cooler set from Reduce. This pack comes with two tumblers and one wine cooler for your chill and go needs. So let's start by doing something informational. Uh, we're gonna test out these bottles over here and see what sizes fit in here because as the back of the package says, not all wine bottles fit, but most do. Now you can purchase these at Costco uh, which is where I got mine. All right, so this is the main Reduce wine cooler. Um, stir on top, twist on top, very good. Uh, stainless steel inside, insulated wall, a little bit of rubber padding here. Um, yeah, it looks like you could fit a decent bottle inside, but we will see. Before we move on to that test, here is one of the two tumblers that come with it, with a pour spout on the top. See-through though. Um, look like they'll make for a decent sippy. We're gonna test a basic standard size Bordeaux or Claret bottle. This is from Mark Bryan Wines up in Washington State. Fits snugly in, kind of wobbles around, but once we put this on, get through the top just fine, and then you secure it. Ooh, fits snugly actually. Um, actually had to press down pretty hard to get it on back onto the container, um, which. I think it's good because there, it won't jostle around much. That's that's pretty good. So this is like a fancier sized bottle. I mean, it's a standard sized bottle, but it's it's it has a good punt to it. It's not a, a small skinny thing <clears throat> like this one. This is an Aaron Hill Primitivo. Uh, they do very tall bottles at Aaron Hill. It's a stylistic choice and. Let's see if they will fit in here. So again, it fits snugly uh, around the shoulder of the bottle. I'm actually surprised because it's so tall. Doesn't seem to shake about much. I know I shouldn't be shaking my wine, but I'm not gonna drink these today. I just wanted to test the bottle size. That actually went on uh, a lot easier um, due to the more slender neck. Uh, I also wanted to try a stubby bottle. Um, clearly this is not going to work out. Oh. So I don't know if you could see that, but the, the lip of the bottle just barely makes it over the top of this. So essentially you could 
pour out of this? It's, it's not gonna do anything. Huh. But there is definitely a lot of space at the bottom there. It's rattling around a bit. It fits. I'm surprised. This is actually going much better than I thought. I wanted to try a burgundy bottle, but I wanted to kill two birds with one stone, so I'm gonna do a champagne bottle and see if that fits. Wow, um, they really did their R&D for this. The, this champagne bottle fit in just fine. Um, not moving around, probably should have shaken it up because this is a um, hmm, not chilled bottle. It's just something I pulled out of storage. But uh, yeah, wow, that fit too. This is going surprisingly well, so it fit all four bottles, surprisingly. Uh, there's also a rubber stop on the bottom of the, the wine cooler and the tumblers, so it'll prevent slipping. Reduce, great job. Um, wow, that's, uh, I wasn't expecting it to go so well, quite honestly. But we're not just gonna stay inside and review a product uh, that's meant for taking your wine outside uh, to go picnicking or hiking or whatever you do when you really feel like you need to drink wine outside of home uh, in public places. So to do that, we're gonna take a temperature of my little friend here. Uh, this is a Bob wine from Whalebone. It has a twist top, which I think will make for easy access uh, in this container. We're gonna gauge the temperature of this wine before we leave and then go out into the world and see what it has. This is a Thermopen Mark IV. It is one of the best instant read thermometers on the market. All right, wine's at 64 degrees right now. Put her in our container. Make sure it's not spilling. Take it away, Sports Brandon, and answer a very, very burning, important question we have about this wine cooler. Yes, you read that correctly. The number one question consumers who buy this have on their mind is, can I use this to play American football with if I've lost my own football to dangerous packs of roaming youths? Let's find out. Merlot 2016. Merlot 2016. Hut, hut, hype! Edelman motions out to Quick throw for Julian, setting up a screen. He's gonna look to throw downfield. Amendola wide open. Makes the catch at the 18 and stride. He's gone! Now let's check temps. 65 degrees. That's gone up since we left home. That's still within serving temp. That's actually not bad. So if you want a wine cooler that can keep your wine cool even when it's tossed around and can double as an American football, Reduce can help. We send you now to Hiker Brandon up in the mountains. So as you know, the uh, purpose of this review is to see how easy it is to, to use. So we're going to take it to the top of a local mountain and see how well it pours. And mountains around here, people actually, they're just hills. They're, they're honestly just hills. But we're going to hike it up and uh, see it at the top. So I made it to the top of Terrace Hill. It's sad that I'm out of breath. A little bit, but here we are. The reduced tumbler opens pretty easily. So there's an easy sip guard right there. Um, makes it nice and easy. You can see your wine in there. It's 
it's not bad. It doesn't have a uh, metallic -y taste and uh, it tastes like the wine that's in this bottle. Uh, it has warmed up a little bit, but let's uh, check it with the actual temperature. As you can see, uh, it gained about another degree since we last checked on it. It's been two hours uh, since we left the studio. It's only climbed to two degrees, but ambient temperature is only 64 degrees today. Uh, it was 66 earlier. Don't know what it says about the thermal properties of this, but so far it's not risen too high and we have been out in the sun and the cloudy weather for about an hour or two. So, I guess it passes? I don't know. Halfway decent. The beach. Well, many come to soak up the rays or catch some gnar, bro. Your average white trash beachgoer is here to get drunk while their children go run amok and pass diseases onto one another. So the real question becomes, can you use this wine cooler system to entertain the children while you sleep off the bottle that you just drank here at the beach? Let's find out. While well, we use this to build some shitty sandcastles. Now my ingenious plan is to use this as some sort of shovel to make a, a sandcastle. But let's see how that works out. Let's see if the wine's warmed up any. Still at 66 from earlier. It's not bad. It's been a few hours since we left today. Um, So we're back in the studio for our final test. We are going to see how it does in the sun. As you may have noticed, we didn't leave the cooler in direct sunlight for too long of time while we were doing our experiments. So I have a fresh bottle of white from my fridge. All right, so our white is at 41 degrees, which is just below suboptimal serving temperature for a white. And we are also going to pour some into our tumbler, as well as pour some red wine in. Which, let's check the temperature right now, is still at 65 degrees. So the tumblers are half full, we'll see how well they do. Uh, we're gonna take all three of these out into the sun, leave it for an hour, and uh, hopefully there will be some footage to go along with that. Camera two has a tendency to overheat after a half hour of recording, so I don't know what's gonna happen. And we're back from being outside. Camera two cut out a little bit before the hour was up. You saw that the shade moved in on our vessels, so I had to move these to another sunny location. Let's see how they turned out with the temperature. First up, here is the white wine. Doesn't seem to be doing anything crazy. White wine in the tumblers made it to 52 degrees. Uh, it kind of varies as I touch the bottom. Um, but it looks like stable at 52. The red wine, uh, some condensation has formed on it. I don't know if you could see that. The red wine has made it to 72 degrees. And our bottle, which was 
at 41 degrees when we started, tilting to account for the lack of wine in the bottle. Is that 46? If you're looking for a good wine cooler that you could take with you, or, you know, just set out at your party outside, since we have to do outdoor party things now, pick this one up. It's a uh, Reduce. Honestly, I'm surprised. I wasn't expecting it to do so well um, in the sun. Again, it's only 64 degrees out right now, but it is it was in the sun for a little, a little over an hour. And it tastes just fine. Perfect serving temperature. What more can I say? Given the wide variety of tests that we did today, I gotta say, I gotta head into you Reduce. Great job on, on doing this. And that is it for me today on Rewind. I'll leave a link to their website in the description below. Not a sponsor. And you can check it out for yourself. Uh, one small caveat, if you're a hiker, there's no carabiner thing going on here. So you have to pack this in with your bag. Um, and then when you're done with the bottle, if you're able to recycle it wherever you end up, you still have this giant bulky thing with you. So I don't know if that's the best for, for backpacking or hiking or whatnot, but for a typical day, this actually will do you well. Um, it beats having a giant bucket of ice melt out in the sun. And on that note, remember that you can find us on Instagram at Rewind Show, on Twitter at Beeshwitty, and on Facebook slash Beeshwitty. You can always find our YouTube channel by going to rewindshow.com or beeshwitty.com, whatever suits your fancy. Remember to share, like, and subscribe, and I believe you're hitting the bell now to get some notifications when I release an episode. This has been Rewind, my name is Beeshwitty, and I'll catch you next time.